The idea of investing in real estate is enticing to a lot of people. Owning a rental property can both diversify your portfolio and provide steady passive cash. But the thought of having to become a landlord is a deal breaker for many of us, including me. Finding the time to manage tenants and maintain a property can seem impossible when you already have a day job consuming 40 hours of your work week. But what if you can have the best of both worlds? With Arrived Homes, you can enjoy the benefits of real estate investments with without having to actually manage any rental properties. Intrigued? Let's dive in for a closer look at how Arrived Homes works. Hey everyone, this is Andy with The College Investor, investing in personal finance for millennials. If you're new to the channel and like what you hear, please hit subscribe so you're ready when our next video comes out. Thanks. Okay, what is Arrived Homes? Well, Arrived Homes is a startup that wants to create an opportunity for everyday investors to get into real estate investing. Last year, the company raised $37 million in seed funding. One of their primary investors is Jeff Bezos. Yeah, you know that guy? <laughs> Ryan Frazier, the CEO and co-founder, said our goal is to make the wealth building potential of owning rental homes more accessible. We believe we can do that by simplifying the process and lowering the cost to get started. Essentially, you can start your real estate investment journey with just $100 through Arrived Homes. As an investor, you'll collect dividends from the properties and your share of the appreciation without handling the details like finding tenants or handling maintenance requests. Here are the features that make Arrived Homes stand out. Number one, consistent passive income without the hassle. A major draw of investing in real estate is the potential to rent out a property for consistent passive income. But being a landlord can be a drain on your time, your energy, and your resources. Through arrived homes, so you won't have to deal with tenants or property maintenance to enjoy that income stream. Instead, you can let arrived homes take care of the details for you, but you'll still be able to enjoy the rental income through regular quarterly deposits. In the second quarter of 2021, arrived homes property dividends ranged from 13 cents to 16 cents per share. They said that this translated to annual returns of 5.21% to 6.42%. Number two, you benefit from property appreciation. Since you'll be a part owner of an actual property, you'll also take part in any returns due to property appreciation. You'll get to watch the property value grow over time. And once the property is sold, you'll receive a percentage of the profits based on your ownership shares. Number three, low investment minimum. You can start investing with arrived homes with just 100 bucks, but you'll be able to invest as much as $20,000 per house. As you continue to work with arrived homes, you can build a property portfolio that reflects your goals. Number four, rigorous property requirements. Vetting a property for purchase is something that arrived homes takes very seriously. The company uses extensive data science to ensure that they are acquiring homes at the right price. Arrived homes will take care of the paperwork from research to acquisition. With that, you won't have to spend time hunting around for the perfect property. Number five, no personal liability. As they build their real estate assets, some investors begin to worry about the personal liability associated with managing rentals. But this isn't something you'll need to worry about when you invest with arrived homes. The company will place all new properties into an LLC. That means there's no personal liability involved in your investment. Let's talk about fees. Arrived homes does come with a few fees that you should be aware of. First, the company charges an annual management fee. We couldn't find a specific percentage listed anywhere on Arrived Home's site, but several third-party sources have reported the assets under management, the AUM fee is 1%. Second, Arrived Homes will charge 8% of the rent for property management at each home. The property management expenses are used to pay their third-party property managers. They don't collect any income from the property management itself. Third, you'll pay a one-time sourcing fee. This fee will vary by property and will be already included in the share price listed. You can find the sourcing fee for a property inside the offering details section of its investment page. Let's talk about how Arrived Homes compares to other competitors. Arrived Homes offers investors the chance to dive into real estate investing 
with minimal capital. However, the company isn't the only one providing this option to budding real estate investors like me. Roofstock offers investors a similar style of investment through Roofstock One. Roofstock One is currently closed to new investors, but when it relaunches, accredited investors will be able to buy whole or fractional shares of a managed investment property. Fundrise doesn't allow investors to pick and choose individual properties, but through its e-REITs, it does make it easy to invest in many cash flowing properties, both residential and commercial, starting for as little as 10 bucks. You might be asking, well, how do I open an account with Arrived Homes, if that's the way you wanna go? Well, since I just went through this process personally, I'll tell you, it was really easy. You'll need to start by creating an account with your email and a password. Next, you'll have to provide your legal name and agree to Arrived Homes Terms of Service, pretty typical for a website. At that point, you can explore the potential properties in greater detail and link your bank account when you're ready to invest in an offering. When I explored the platform, only two properties were ready for investment. Since I was intrigued by this new way to own rental real estate, I quickly gobbled up two shares of a home in South Carolina. Now, how about safety and security with Arrived Homes? Well, Arrived Homes offers an opportunity to invest in real estate, which comes with inherent risks. It's possible that you could lose money on a deal, but so far, that hasn't been the case. In terms of liability protection, Arrived Homes keeps you safe from any personal liability, as we discussed earlier. Each property is placed in an LLC. As an investor in any home, you will invest in the LLC. With that, you won't be personally on the hook if any lawsuits come about in regards to a particular property. With any real estate investing site, it's important to discuss liquidity. The anticipated holding period for the investments on Arrived Home site is five to seven years. That's a long time to have your money tied up, especially compared to stocks and ETFs which can be sold at any time. Arrived Home says that investors will be able to request early redemption of their shares after six months. But it also says there's no guarantee that a secondary market will develop. In other words, you may have a difficult time finding a future buyer who will want to purchase your shares. In the end, is Arrived Homes worth it? Well, we love the concept behind Arrived Homes for those who want to invest in real estate without taking on the responsibility of being a busy landlord. But with few to no properties actually ready for investment right now, the platform seems like it's still a work in progress. In fact, right before I hit record on this video, I checked the site and they had zero properties available. Over time, Arrived Homes could develop into a serious contender in the real estate investing world, but if you're looking to invest immediately, you're likely to find better inventory on a more established platform. Some of our favorite platforms are Fundrise, Realty Mogul, Roofstock, and even getting into some farmland with partners like AcreTrader or Farm Together. Thanks for hanging out today, everyone. This is Andy from The College Investor. We'll see you in the next video.